This is April Shaltise, using the computer to generate this message. My brother, Rendell Barry Shaltise, is dead. My brother, Todd Perry Shaltise, is dead. My niece, Celeste Shaltise Conway, is dead. All dead. My parents are Carl and Ruby Shaltise. My other brothers are Mark Carl Shaltise and Alan Parkin Shaltise. My sister is September Marie Shaltise, Aka September Keys, Aka September Macius. Celeste's mother is Rosa Shaltise, Aka Rosa Armstrong. Immoral people, today, are still using genocide for gain and amusement. They want me dead, too. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason, but I am an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived, so they are calling me a botched kill and they want to clean up the mess and finish the job. They don't want me to have any more birthdays. They poisoned my dogs. They used COVID as an excuse to take away my job, my health insurance, my phone, my internet. They blocked my 403b money and my retirement. They cut my power. They denied my unemployment. They also attacked my vehicles, disabling them and trying to tow them, again and again. This is April shall ties, and I want to live, not die for any reason, for with long life the Lord will satisfy me. This is Rome, and Rome wants you to die in the arena. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Never, never forget, never. The scriptures say, What do ye imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. The Lord delivers the poor in his affliction, and opens their ears in oppression. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard, Lord, you are my strength, and my fortress, and my refuge in the day of affliction.